I thank you for your son. I ask of you to be with him within his walk of life at this time upon the Mother Earth and strengthen him. His health, his mind allow his prayers to become stronger. I first crossed this bridge eight years ago, fearful and struggling with my Indianness. I came for spiritual guidance, and my life was never the same again. I make this journey here now, hoping to understand more about my culture and my responsibilities. Mary and Ed Louie are spiritual people, medicine people, who practice one way of healing to help others. What we do, we do every day, and it's natural for us. My grandmother taught me, so I've been with her since I was small, until she left me. So what she did every day, I seen and I heard. So that way, it was a natural way for me to grow up. It's a natural teaching. Mary and Ed follow ancestral protocols handed down to them from their teachers and the spirit world. Sacred ceremonies have always been a part of the lives of Native peoples. In our world today, there are questions about ethics and accountability. Questions on what can be shown. Mary and Ed agree the time is right to share the protocols that guide their spirit. I am honored and humbled by this responsibility. They will decide what can be shown and what must remain locked in the spiritual world of mystery. I have asked for instructions. Our all-native crew is to abstain from drugs and alcohol on location. We are to smudge ourselves and the equipment. And no sweat lodge ceremony or sacred dance will be recorded. This is a journey that leads me to some beautiful, lonely, and mysterious places in my soul and on Mother Earth. As a filmmaker, my struggle is with what I will do, with what I am given. The medicine people are born with it because that's what was given to us from the beginning of time when the Creator had made us. So there's one thing I forgot, it's a medicine and a medicine person. So he went back and put that there for them. And one of the things that I've learned is when I, when I go and help the people, I know that the Creator is helping them and slowly, in, in a manner, bringing them back to him by allowing them to be comfortable with their, their ways, being comfortable uh, accepting who they are and to be able to center themselves. And this starts with being grateful for what Mother Earth offers us. These are really good. Thank you, Creator, for these berries. I ask of you to see that there's plenty for all the, the four-legged ones, that they'll have some. 
and the winged ones, they hunger too. I want to thank you for these berries. Hey, right, live them. And when you work with people, there's a lot of the bad habits you need to let go. You can't go out drinking or you go out taking drugs or smoking pot or sleeping with others. You can't do that because you're, you're an instrument that the spirits and the Creator work through to help their relatives and his children. I want to thank the tree people for sharing their pitch. We use this as well. And I thank the Mother Earth for sharing the medicines with us. And it's a big responsibility because you kind of walk away from your family in a manner. You're not there for them. With my second husband, I told him, I said, you know, this is what I'm going to be doing. You're either with me or if not, that door is there. The road goes both ways. Mary helps the women. Ed helps the men. They work together in their commitment to following their spiritual protocols and to each other. Yeah, we work together as a, as a team. Huh? One goes down, I have to lift him up. And he, if I go down, he lifts me up. So that's why we're partners, me and my wife. Yeah. We work together. The other one's always on the lookout. If anything's coming, then if something's coming, we always catch him. Yeah. Spiritually. They use this also for for medicine. You have sores that don't heal. You just peel it off when you need it. We usually don't take it unless we need it. This way, if you have a sore that don't heal, this is what you use, like this. And then you wrap it, and it'll pull out the poison. So this is what we use, this is rock moss. But we always give thanks for whatever we take. Can't take something for nothing anymore. We weren't. It is through our language that we are connected to our culture and our ceremonies. In this way, each one of us is accountable to our people, the earth, and to the spirit world. Seventy years, the Indian Act outlawed our sweat lodges, pot latches, and sun dances, ceremonies at the very heart of our existence. During those silent dark years, it was left to the gifted few to keep our languages and sacred laws alive. The elders say, nothing is forgotten, only left behind. was asked to do this. I was struggling with it. I had dreams, I had visions, and sometimes the wall became a TV to me. When the elders came to me and told me what I, what I should be doing, I was confused because my grandmother was gone and she was my teacher. struggled with it, I running away from it and finally 
they brought me to my knees by taking my son. And I was really hurt by that. But after that one year, after the feast and giveaway, when the elders came again and he asked me, he says, are you ready? You've had your fun now, it's time to go to work. It's time to help the Creator and his children. We waited for the people who come to Marion Ed for help. In their experience, are there questions around ethics and accountability? Or is it about faith, beliefs, and relationships? What we didn't know then was Don Howell, our sound man, would give that point of view. He received news during our work together that changed his life. It took me two or three weeks before I could even say the word, I have cancer. I felt that I lost control. Now I feel I'm gaining a, a semblance or an understanding with my life and, and, and where I'm going. I know that I'm on a journey and, and it's a difficult one. And it, it, it's forced me to begin to re-examine what my role really is on this world. Both my parents passed away with cancer, and uh, I mean that profoundly affected me for a lot of years. Um, but at the same time, people do get through it in, in, in their own ways. And you know, I've chosen Western medicine because I, I, you know, I haven't been in a spiritual light. Like I haven't been living, you know, back to the land. I, I you know, I don't go out and gather roots and herbs and. I don't do sweats, and I, you know, I don't live my life spiritually, and you know, in that way. And, and I felt that, you know, the Western medicine is it's where I am now. As Don researched his native roots, he started looking to holistic healing and set out to learn how to ask for help.
Not only do we as people need healing, our Earth needs it too. Mary and Ed are among the community of caretakers responsible for restoring health to this sacred place. Spotted Lake is considered a chief among lakes, with 365 circles in various shapes, sizes, and depths, each representing a different medicinal quality. Natives from all tribes come to visit it for its medicine. It was owned privately and desecrated through mining and attempts at development until 2001. After a century of pressure on government and landowners, it was returned to the people of this land. The protocol to approach it was not fully honored for many years. You come to ask for its medicine, barefoot. Nature is suffering because of the lack of our responsibility in a manner by taking care of the Mother Earth. She still cares for us, she still provides for us, even though she is weak. And she still tries to keep her blood clean, and that's the water, and to provide the nourishment for her children. And that's one of the things that you need to be accountable for is whatever you gather, you take care of and put away. And that's one of the things that needs to be looked after. As a helper and as a spiritual brother to Mary, Herman Edwards is committed to keeping the traditions of his people alive. When you go out and gather your medicines, you thank the Mother Earth for giving birth to that medicine and allowing you to learn about it and to know for its purpose in helping you to regain your strength again. You make an offering to that plant, to the Mother Earth. And that's one of the things that uh, a lot of people forget to do. Hey, white aluminum. In our prophecy, they said that one day we were going to lose everything if we don't watch what we're doing, and we're not doing a good job today. The Creator didn't forget nothing we did. That's what the elders said. We forgot how to take care of ourselves. And then today, if we don't read it in a book or in a paper, it don't mean nothing. People don't believe in things that are verbal. They believe in things that they read. And they're reading what other people's beliefs. One day, we're just going to be memories, like Mary and myself and a few others that still practice culture. Mary, uh, yeah, she helped me. Uh, she helped everybody that, that, like, she helped a lot of people so that uh, not only sober up, but to give them some guidance of how to take care of themselves. A lot of the, the hardships that we face is uh, being away from the family. My husband, sometimes he wonders if he's married because I'm gone so much. Okay. Sometimes I just live out of the suitcases. It's hard for you to make ends meet. And uh, it's not easy because um, my husband is on pension, but he doesn't get that much. And that's one of the things is trying to keep things in, in balance at home as well. 
in my teachings is that we're never asked to to set a price. Uh, it's up to the people to give what is what they want to give. That's how they help the one that they ask to come to help them. But my responsibility is with the Creator and and uh, with his his children. Those who seek our spiritual people also have a responsibility. I am learning my responsibility as a person and as a filmmaker lies in living my life according to these teachings and my willingness to walk in truth. Still, I question, am I doing the right thing? Was I willing to be accountable? One of the things that I always tell the people is to to pray on it if they want to find help and ask the Creator to show you who to go to. Because you need to remember that when you ask for, for healing and directions, you need the ones that comes from the heart. When you're shown who to go to, you'll be shown what you are to take to this one whether it's a grandfather or a grandmother. But you always take tobacco, and if you don't have tobacco, you take some sage or sweet grass. It can help you if you come from the heart with your words and your offerings. strange as it sounds, I mean, you know, getting cancer, I can look at it as a positive thing because I, it's also brought me to where I am now. It's, it's bringing me to Marionette. You know, being so caught up in the materialism of, of, of life, you know, like my work, you know, um, it's the ultimate job in, in terms of toys and gadgets and stuff, it's, you know, it's so entertaining, you know, in that way, but yet, you know, it's, it's not much. It's not much when you're laying there underneath a radiation machine and, and you think, well, you know, here's my life and, you know, like, you know, where am I going with this, you know. It takes a lot of energy out of you. Working with the people that come, and sometimes they expect a miracle, but they have to make that effort as well to start working on themselves. And we're only instruments to help you to get on the right path and to work with you until you can stand on your own and learn how to help yourself because there's many things out there that uh, the Creator has given the Mother Earth to give birth to, to help us with our walk of life. At this time up on the Mother Earth, we can't depend on hanging on to somebody to help us day after day. It's up to you to make those changes and to adjust to the changes that may come into your life. To be imbalanced with nature and within yourself, one of the things is to keep your prayers strong. Right. 
Watch the current, huh? Yeah. Only go part way. Go to the water and ask it to help you get into it. Face the flow of it and help, ask it to help you to take the negativity away, the hurts, the pains. Go to the water as often as possible. If you can't go to the water, then after your shower, shut off the hot water and let the cold water hit you because your, your spirit still cries for the cold water, for the strength that it needs to help you to achieve your goals that is before you. In many ways, the water is gentle, uh, could be very loving, but if you mistreat that water in some manner by not respecting it and making offerings, it can also take you. So to ask it to help you, whether it's the water, the fire, the trees, the wind, uh, even the Mother Earth, you need to be connected and be humble. I feel that I do need to ask for help. Yeah, because there's just things in life you can't do on your own. You can't always, you know, come up with the answers. There's just times when you just need those other people, you know, and, you know, seeing Mary and Ed and, and discovering them. I don't know, it's, 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 it's strange how things work, you know, how fate, if you can call it fate, destiny. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's going to be a really, a big challenge, but I'm really looking forward to it, and I need, I need it, I need it bad. While making this film, I've also felt there are other forces at work guiding me. At the moment, two sacred events take place, Dawn's doctoring and the filming of a sacred ceremony. I don't question my ethics. I rely on Mary and Ed for guidance, and through their wisdom, the opportunity to include the voices of other elders in an exchange of similar wisdom on the filming of ceremony. Narciss Blood of the Blood Tribe. Annie Parker, Shushwap. Jenny Cardinal, Cree and Bert Crowfoot, Sitsika. As part of my job with media, I had this struggle with do we film ceremonies and I think it's important that we use technology to teach those people that don't have the opportunity to but we have to do it in a respectful way and whoever's mm -hmm. conducting the ceremony is the one that has the the right to say yes I want it recorded and how it's used I don't know how I felt when I came here I felt like this is not my place to be telling this but I've seen a lifetime, too, mm -hmm. of what our ancestors had left us. And putting it on, on TV is a no-no for me. There's so much that we can share on TV. There's, we got our side of the story to tell. It can become a very useful education tool. There's so much of that needs to be done. And I think where, at least I draw the line, would be in ceremonies.
The old elders used to stay, say, this is not for show. This is for the love of our children, so they can use what we are leaving for them. Times are changing so much that some of the young have to be learning some. And like I say, you know, a lot of things are still private. But as for not having it on TV, there's some things you can go so far and tell. But the first learning should come from their grandparents in the homes. <clears throat> this I believe strongly. When we don't deal with a healing aspect of what it is to be colonized, one of the things, one of the symptoms is trying to take shortcuts. When people attend a sweat once, the next thing they're conducting sweat ceremony. Mm -hmm. And one of the elders that we used said, I'm going to go to my grave not knowing everything that I want to know about those. It's a long process for the, mm. for the people that had gone in a traditional and medical way of life, you know. <coughs> My husband and I struggled a lot in, for serving the people in so many ways. But now that he's gone, he used to say, don't sell whatever I had earned that mm. was mine. Do some teachings of what happened to us for many years. Mm. But a lot of our people are in the cities now. And mm -hmm. someone said that you don't have that connection to what our grandfathers and grandmothers had to the land, because what we learn comes from the land. Mm -hmm. So I think when we use media, it is a tool. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it helps those people that don't have access to the elders. Mm -hmm. Leroy Little Bear made this statement. When you don't know who you are, Mother Earth will have trouble recognizing you. That's the way we see. Now, that's an aspect of our ceremonies that becomes a whole different worldview of experience, of experiencing that. These equipment, this modern day, could be used as a tool in our favor but it could never, ever replace that experience. I thank you for your son. I ask of you to be with him within his walk of life at this time upon the Mother Earth and strengthen him. His health, his mind allow his prayers to become stronger. I ask of you to put a shield and light around him. Okay, there you go. Why? <laughs> Yeah, you'll be okay. okay. I have to apologize. I meant to make an offering to you of no. some tobacco, and I know that I should have been faster <laughs> to, to do it. So yeah. I, I thank you. And okay. My yeah. and Naked eye can't see it, but especially where people can see things far away, and sometimes it can bring life back. That's what this kind of job is. It's not easy. And nobody can make fun of it. That's eh? been given to us from the, the Creator itself.
I feel lighter today. I feel lighter as in, I don't know, there seems to be a tension that I had before that I don't have today. I mean, I, I woke up this morning quite early and contemplated what all the things that went on yesterday. I mean, there were so many things going on. Um, you know, trying to keep focused on my, my healing and myself. This is definitely not, not the miracle cure. I don't believe this is the miracle cure. I, I believe this is only a part of the beginning. I definitely have a deeper understanding where my role is um, in my healing now, that I do need to take control that I do need to say to the cancer, well, it's been nice knowing you, but you know, the, the party's over, you're out of here. Yeah. That's what I need to do. We receive the generous gifts of their wisdom, their accountability. I am humbled by the mystery of this experience. But I'm hoping that people will get back to doing what they've been taught. They may have to go back to their roots where they were born to be able to become stronger with their walk. Because everything he's put before us is there to help us as we walk. We learn to pick it up and carry it on. Learn who you are. Learn your ways again. My fears are being replaced with a relationship of respect for myself and for all life through these teachings. Protocol honors spirit. It mends the effects of colonization and keeps our spirit doctors alive and strong. <laughs>